as you enter the customer's home. Make sure to show your identity card for security and verification. Carefully listen to the customer's concerns and the issues they are facing with the product. Understanding their problem is key to providing a solution that satisfies their needs. Capture the unit's serial number to ensure proper documentation and product verification. Next, run the unit and verify the temperature readings in both the freezer and fridge sections to ensure they are cooling properly. To diagnose potential issues, press and hold the fridge button, then press the power cool button 5 times to check for error codes. If no errors appear, carefully open the product's main PCB while wearing gloves and check the running ampere reading with a clamp meter. Check the discharge tube's temperature to verify that the gas flow is proper. Open the freezer section duct to inspect if the evaporator coil is properly frosted. This ensures efficient cooling. Ensure that there is uniform frosting on all the tubing, including the evaporator and suction tubing. If frosting is excessive in certain areas, this could indicate a system blockage. If any defects or issues are found, be sure to capture images for records and further analysis. Switch the unit to test mode for further repair work. Switch off the unit and disconnect the power cord from the electric board for safety. Clean the evaporator thoroughly with water to remove any frost and moisture accumulation. Use tube pitching pliers to clamp the charging tube port and release the gas from the system through a window or door. Carefully cut the capillary tube from the dryer with a cutter for removal. Now, they brace the dryer from the condenser and the condenser from the compressor port. Clean and file the capillary and condenser ports to remove by nitrogen any burrs and carbon particles that could affect the new installation. Using a nitrogen cylinder, flush the condenser to ensure proper system cleanliness. Brace a new dryer to the condenser and capillary port to ensure a secure connection. Block the suction port and condenser port. Then use nitrogen pressure to flush the system completely. Check all brushing joints for leaks using a soap solution and, if necessary, brace the joints after removing nitrogen. Once the leak test is complete, brace the condenser back to the compressor and secure the suction to the compressor port. Perform a thorough vacuumization of the system through the charging point until it reaches minus 10 psi to remove any trapped air and moisture. Once the vacuumization is complete, close the gauge knob first, followed by the vacuum pump knob to prevent a vacuum break. Verify the gas specifications listed on the unit, then charge the system with the correct type and amount of gas, verifying the cylinder's weight before and after the process. Once the system is charged, plug the unit back in and switch it on to test the cooling. Wait for 15 minutes to allow for proper gas circulation and verify uniform cooling in the freezer section by checking the evaporator coil and tubing. Ensure that there is uniform frosting on all the tubing, including the evaporator and suction tubing. Seal the open ports properly. Check the ampere and freezer section temperature reading again before closing the PCB cover. Once repairs are complete, Communicate with the customer, informing them that the product is now in perfect working order. Fill out the job sheet, get the customer sign-off, and ensure everything is documented properly. Don't forget to capture a final happy customer photo to mark the successful repair. Thank you for choosing our service. For more details, contact us.